We're broadcasting from the Concrete Jungle Stadium, home of the Cincinnati Bengals. Know what's beautiful about this city, Bricks? I don't know, Ben. Tell me. I don't know either. That's, that's why I was asking you guys. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Sniffle Thrills take on the Cincinnati Mangle. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Second down and long. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be more than a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting, or dead, or worse. Hey, okay, I can't. Jim, on my bad. Yep, yeah, I got to get on now. You know? And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm print. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom! Third down and the punter is warming up. It might make more sense to punt here than attempt a field goal. This is way too long. He is automatic. Nice kick. All right, just get the points. Let's move on. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. They could not connect on that play. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And that's a catch for three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and nine. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll bring up third and one. He's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. Should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, 
Anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. And he's running like a moose right now. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what happened? <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. He could go all the way! Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing. Keep a good mutant down. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps outside trying to mute. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Third down and eight. Oh. Oh. Well, fee, five, fo, fum. If you can't get the sack, that's the next best thing. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. And that's a perfect pass on fourth down to pick up the first. And it's first and ten. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and four. Second down and five. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and five. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada! And it's first and ten. I personally think the ginormous guy is coming. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped in on his back. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. You ever get hit in the head with a bulldog grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first to ten. are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. The warning sounds only two minutes left in the first half. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. A nice run there for eight yards. Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Third down and long. First down! 
He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. <laughs> First and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And then put six points on the board! They're going for two points. And they run it in for two points. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Pig's hotel party the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And how about a little dirt sandwich? Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. Third quarter about to begin here. And these guys are locked in a nearly dead heat. I was locked in a dead heat under the covers last night when Bricks started farting like a 4th of July fireworks finale. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. First down. Is that right, Glenn? That penalty makes no sense. Yeah, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. And this is a first and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. down and forever. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Marvin, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in 
bowling. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. up about six on the play. Third and four. foot into that one he's got the ball now let's see what he does with it pow with the brain scrambler and it's first and ten He heard footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Second down and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling?
Third down and five. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. It's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, look at this guy. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And they are on the march right now with their third consecutive first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. the meat for Brave Rabbit and Ball did fall down. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion! No. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Just saved a touchdown on that deflection. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and six. Man, what a hit that was. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> Third down and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and never going to happen. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. Mm -hmm. 
That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite, Dave, because he's the... The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten. Zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. I'm a high-scale old silo. I am a hell of an old silo. Second down in a mile. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, dig it in you. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing or just marking his territory. <laughs> the Cincinnati Mangos win his home by forfeit. I like the sound of that, Glenn. Forfeit. Forfeiter. Foreshadow. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrabble's tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.